All right, guys, so before you start watching this video, I desperately need you guys to go to your room, come back with your tinfoil hats on because that's the only way you guys can watch this video. But believe you me, I'm 99% sure I cracked the code. I know what we're gonna get, guys. So make sure to stick around and uh, just follow here with my theories. And uh, it's, it's, not even really, it's not even really theories. I feel like I just cracked the code at this point. But uh, as you guys can see here, Dragon Ball Legends just a few minutes ago posted here this image and it says here make sure to take a closer look and of course you guys know me if you guys subscribe to me you guys know I went in deep details to find out what this means so I, I looked at this image here the only thing new with this image that stands out is uh, of course very crystal clear on the bottom left corner they added the DBL little dash so they added that what that means guys is it's a little um, serial number every character has their own serial number it's DBL and then a certain number to identify that specific character so uh, what this means here, why this specifically stands out in the other serial numbers is because of this right here. So I posted this on my Twitter right after I cracked the code. So it says here, we are 100% going to get a free to play unit 100%. Take a look at the DBL dash. So the DBL dash is what you guys see in the, in the bottom left corner. Uh, on the bottom of the left corner, uh, only free to play units have the DBL dash uh, on the uh, on their serial number. I, I might just call it serial number because I don't know what else to call it, but on their specific character number, so our card number, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, normal units do not have that little dash after the DBL. So let me quickly give you an example. This is Omega Shenron. Uh, Omega Shenron, as you guys see, I circled right here uh, the little uh, serial number that every character has. This is a uh, character that you uh, that's not free to play. It's just not free to play, right? So this character here uh, does not have the little dash. It does not say DBL dash. It just says DBL and then go straight into the number. As opposed to the free to play Kakra Goku, which has the little dash after the DBL. And every single free to play character has the dash, guys. Every single play, uh, free to play character has the dash. And characters that don't have the uh, free to play, um, pretty much. Uh, you know, aspect of the game, like even Ultra Goku, since he's free to play, he has a dash. Free to play Vegito has a dash. Free to play uh, Red Broly has the dash. Every free to play unit has a dash. I just want to make that very crystal clear. And this is what stands out with the DBL here. Uh, they specifically added that to this image. So that's what it clearly means, guys, is DBL dash means it's a free to play unit. Now, a lot of guys might be thinking, DB Zoom, this may be a free to play Shenron. Although it may be. What I think it's going to be, guys, is going to be the uh, dragons, the um, uh, uh, like the uh, basically the Shenron dragons, right? So if you guys didn't know, if you guys, I don't know if you guys watched it here or not, but there's a whole bunch of different dragons, and I think that might be very similar to the Ginyu Force event that we got, uh, or the uh, boot camp for the Super Warriors that we got, which was awful. It was awful. They executed that awfully, but uh, what they really did good was the Ginyu Force event. Uh, those characters were absolutely phenomenal, and I think that's the case guys and we also got a gt buff in uh, green super 17 um what this is all correlating to guys is a huge huge hint towards super saiyan 4 gogeta for the 30th anniversary or if not the videos and stuff is this upcoming tuesday which also wednesday where we are basically getting a free um not a free i'm so sorry i mean we are going to get a free to play unit but we're also going to get a legendary finish unit so that might even be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta before the anniversary, but I don't see it being before the anniversary. We might even see a uh, legendary finish Vegeta or uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta uh, for a GT of some sort or a legendary finish GT unit of some sort along to go with the uh, the dragons uh, free to play because of course you guys see here DBL dash. So even the Ginyu Force has this little dash. Just make that very crystal clear guys. And if that's the case, if we are indeed getting a, like uh, the dra all the dragons as free to play, that's that's one of the main things I've been asking for, guys. If you guys are subscribed to me, you guys know that uh, I love events like the Ginyu Force. Even though they executed the Super Warriors event uh, kind of poorly, they're pretty good and they got some pretty good equipment. But I feel like uh, they did execute. I mean, they, we we I think we got like just a Krillin, a Yamcha, and a Tien as opposed to like the Ginyu Force. And the Guinea Force, when they first came out, were absolutely much better than the Super Warriors. But that's nothing to knock on the Super Warriors. But I feel like if we're going to get the Dragons, that's going to correlate specifically to GT. And GT is specifically uh, correlating to the third anniversary because I can't see any other hype unit, guys, that's going to come out. We already got Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. We already got Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Uh, I mean, we already got both Super Saiyan 4s. I mean, the only thing that's missing out is Merge, Corrupt, Samasu, uh, Spirit Sword Trunks. 
uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and uh, God Topo and some, and then it could get quite creative after that. Like we can get an Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, we can get an Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, etc., etc., or like a fusion unit version of that. Uh, but yeah, I believe this is going to be an event that's going to come out uh, or going to be showcased uh, for the videos and stuff, which might be the dragons or a brand new Shenron. But I believe it might be the dragons, guys. I believe we might be getting. Uh, all seven dragons because as you guys can see here they literally cut the image in half just on his torso to see all the dragons there or the dragon balls which correlates to the dragons so if we can get a free to play dragons that's going to be absolutely epic you guys know i'm going to grind that i mean they just look so cool just the artwork i don't care if they suck but i think they're at, i think they're going to be quite good guys because if 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 it's similar to the ginyu forest boot camp um you just know it's going to be some heat but uh, other than that, if we just take a very, very quick look, guys, at the GT, uh, GT tag itself, uh, just to kind of see if we might be getting another Zenkai, but I believe we might be also getting a Legendary Finish GT unit if this is going to come out alongside GT. So that's a huge possibility. So let me pull this up. Let me fix the screen and let me get out the screen myself because I'm kind of blocking you guys' image. This is going to give us a good idea, a very good idea, right? So this is what we have here, guys. Um... I believe red is not a possibility because Omega Shenron is still very solid. I mean, he's solid, you know. He's uh, pretty much a full year come the anniversary because he's the second year anniversary unit. Um, so I believe that's not going to be the case. It might not be It might not be uh, red. It might be green just because this uh, Goku here is kind of irrelevant. And we did just get this Super 17. And if you guys uh, remember, the Super 17 Zenkai correlates to specifically the uh, GT green buff tag. So uh, I feel like that's a quite the setup for a GT tag. And after that, if I'm being quite frank with you guys, anything is up for grabs. Literally anything is up for grabs. I mean, yellow, we got this Sin Shenron, we got this Super Vegeta. Uh, nothing really special at all here, right? Nothing really special, like literally nothing. There's not much units to go off of here. Uh, red, purple, I mean, yeah, I, I, I think red and green might be the only good, uh, yeah, good stable, some somewhat stable uh, units because green is, is good. You can use green itself, but green, he I, I feel like he's going to be a bench unit eventually for a specific buff for a GT. Maybe Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or some sort, but this is all in the end, guys, leading up to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. No doubt about it. Like, no doubt about it, guys. Like, this... Like I said, the 30th anniversary is legit um, just a few days away, guys. It's, I mean, a few days away. It's, it's a month and a few days away because we're we're basically already almost in the half of this month. So it's like a, a month and a half away, we should be getting the units. And you guys know it takes three months to uh, make these units. So uh, they, they already have them made. They already have them made. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. I think it's going to be the Dragons. And I think this is heavily, heavily hinted towards Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for the 30th anniversary. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are not subscribed, what are you doing? It's free. Why not? I greatly appreciate the subscription. So uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video for today. And I'll definitely uh, catch you guys for a PvP video that I was supposed to record today. But I pushed it back to record this video for you guys. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite busy always recording videos for you guys daily. So uh, yeah, catch you guys tomorrow on the next video. Have a good one. Peace.